Hello everyone. Welcome to Codescan. So today we are going to see patient's sort. As we all know, a subsequence is an ordered subset of an array's elements having the same sequential ordering as the original array. The longest increasing subsequence can be created from its elements that are in strictly increasing order. So we have seen enough dynamic programming and recursive solutions and they are all going to take big go of n square time. We are here going to see patient sorting solution for longest increasing subsequence which will take big go of n log n time complexity. Patient sorting is a sorting algorithm inspired and named after the card game patients. So first let us understand the game to understand the intuition of our algorithm. We are given a pile of cards. Our goal is to form piles as few as possible. So we can put the cards into piles according to two rules. So the first rule is we can't place a higher valued card onto a lower valued card. The second rule is if no pile has cards with higher value then form a new pile and put the card on it. Let's arrange all the piles first starting with 10 spades and so far it's the highest value so form a new pile and add it. The next card is 9 spades and 10 is a higher value so we can place it above 10. Moving on to our next card which is 2 and 9 is greater value so place it on 9. Next card is 5 but the card on the top of the pile we created is 2. As per the game rules we cannot place on the top of the pile which has lesser value. So create a new pile and place it on. Next card is 3. We cannot place it on 2 so put it on pile 2 that is on top of 5. Next card is 8. We cannot place it both on top of 2 and 3 so create a new pile. Next is 7, so place it on 8. Next is 6, so place it on 7. Next card is 12 of spades, where we cannot place it on any of the pile we created, so create a new pile. Place 11 on 12. Here comes our last card 4. We have two piles that has higher value than 4. But patient's thought is greedy, so it always choose the leftmost pile with the higher value. So place it on 6. So if you observe the cards now, the cards within any pile forms decreasing subsequences and piles with the more length is the longest decreasing subsequence. The same way each layer in every pile is an increasing subsequence. Any increasing subsequence can use at most one card from each pile. So each card maintains a pointer to top card in the previous pile follows pointer to obtain increasing subsequence. Now getting back to our example. Here is our given example and the longest increasing subsequence in the given example is 2, 3, 7, 18. So let's apply patient's sort to this example and see whether we can arrive at 2, 3, 7, 8 at the last of the game. So let's start from our first card or first number in the given array which is 10. So still now there is no higher value or pile we have formed. So form a new pile and place 10 on it. Moving on to our next card 9. 9 is lesser than 10. So place 9 on top of 10 in the same pile. Moving on to 2, 2 is again lesser value than 9. So place 2 on 9. So next value is 5. 5 is higher than 2. So we cannot place it on the same pile. So create a new pile and place it on it. Moving on to the next element 3. 3 is less than 5. So place on the same pile. So the next element is 7. We cannot place it both on 2 as well as 3. So separate file we need to create. So and 101, 101 cannot be placed on any of the pile we have created. So create a new pile and place it on it. So now finally 18, we cannot place it on pile 1, 2 and 3. So finally we have to place it on the last pile. Now that we have arranged our numbers in the form of piles, each layer will have a pointer to its adjacent layer with the top element when it was actually placed in the pile. So for example, when 5 was placed, 2 was the top element. When 3 was placed, 2 was the top element again. So we'll have a connection from 3 to 7 as when 7 was placed, 3 was the top element. And when 101 was placed, 7 was the top element. And when 18 was placed, 7 again was the top element. So if you follow the connection, you will get two long sub increasing subsequences, which is 2, 3, 7, 101 and 2, 3, 7, 18. So both are said to be the longest increasing subsequence 
in the given array and we can return any of them as our output. Hope you now understood the concepts. We have a lot of binary search solutions and DP solutions to implement patient sort in internet. But here we are going to cover the easiest Java implementation using the advantage of predefined data structure tree set, which helps to get both the length as well as the elements of longest increasing subsequence. So before going to code, let's get the quick glimpse of tree set. Tree set is an interface used to maintain the natural ordering of elements. In our algorithm, we are going to use tree set and tree set dot ceiling function. Tree set dot ceiling is used to return the nearest, greater or equal element in the set. If no element is equal or greater, then it returns null. So let's have a quick dry run before going to the code. So now our ceiling function will return the nearest greater or equal element if not null. So first we are going to put 10 into our tree set. As tree set maintains the natural ordering of the elements, the elements are going to be stored in the order. So now moving on to 9, when you take ceiling of 9, it is going to return 10 because 10 is the nearest greater element in the set. So what are we going to do? We are going to put 9 on top of 10. So which means we are going to remove that from our tree set. So let's remove 10 and put 9 into our set. So now 9 is placed moving on to 2. Again if you are doing 2 ceiling then it is going to return 9. So in this case we are going to take away 9 and put 2 onto our set. So now moving on to our next element 5. When you check 5 it is going to return null because there is no equal or greater element. The only element in the set is 2 which is actually lesser than 5. So when null is returned we are not going to do anything but simply add that to our set. Moving on to our next element 3, the greater or equal element to 3 is 5. So let's remove that and place 3. So next element is 7. There is no nearer or greater element to 7 in the set. So simply add it to our set. Moving on to 101, ceiling of 101 is going to return null. So simply add that to our set. So finally the number is 18. 18 ceiling is going to return as 101 because that is the nearest greater number in the set. So we are going to remove 101 and add 18 to the set. So finally the elements left in the tree set is going to be the longest increasing subsequent and size of the tree set is going to give us the length of the longest increasing subsequence in the given array. So hope you understood. Let's go to the code now. So here is the problem statement where we are given an integer array nums and we have to return the length of the longest increasing subsequence in the given array. So as I said, I'm going to declare a tree set. I'm going to iterate my given array. So before adding my elements to my set, I'm going to check ceiling of that number in the given set. So if my ceiling value is not is equal to null, then there is a greater element where we can put our card upon that. We are going to delete that element. And add the current element to the set. Finally return the size of the set. So let's run now. So yes let's submit. So yes, our solution is accepted. Hope you understood the concept. If you want to learn the other implementations of patient sort in Java, please let me know in comments. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. And you can find my code in the description. Thank you.